Good day and pax at bonum. Our activity today is entitled Soldering and Mounting Components on the PCB, specifically resistor. This activity will give you experience using the soldering iron property and apply soldering techniques. So let us start. So what are different tools and materials that we need? First is soldering iron. So of course, we place the soldering iron on its holder. Okay? So we can be safe. Next is our diagonal side cutter. So diagonal side cutter is used for uh, removing excess terminals. Then the long nose pliers for bending resistor terminals. Then the solder or the lead for making the connections. Then our PCB. So uh, as you can see, there is at the bottom is the copper side of the PCB. Then the resistors. So the components that we will connect on the PCB. Next is the wet rug or the wet sponge that you have on your uh, soldering stand. Okay, then the, the soldering tool or the soldering pump. So, when we commit mistake or unwanted connection, we can use it to remove them. Okay, then this will be our output. Okay, so as you can see, resistors are connected on the PCB. Okay, so there are 8 resistors. So, let us start. So first, we remove the uh, resistors. Okay, so we need 8 of them. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8. So before I forget, and you must not forget, you need to wear your, your mask during this activity. Okay, before the soldering activity. Okay, okay. so as, as you can, can see, our, our PCB is ready, and now we are preparing the terminal of the resistor using the long nose pliers. Okay? So, all you need to do is simply mount the resistor on top of the PCB. So, the terminal should be in contact with the copper side of the PCB. Okay? So, we are now on the second resistor. So again, using our long nose pliers, we can accurately bend the resistor terminals. Okay. So you can arrange freely your resistors on the PCB. So you can form any uh, geometric figures that you would like to do using your eight resistors. As for me, I'll just do the rectangular formation for my eight resistors. Okay. So again, before we start the connection, make sure that our soldering iron is ready. And of course, you are wearing your mask. Okay. So this is your protection against the fumes that comes out during the uh, soldering process. Okay, so as you can see, the tip of the soldering iron is clean. It is clean when you see that uh, its color is uh, silvery color. Okay, so as you apply the lead on the terminal or the solder on the terminals, uh, after applying a, a, a small amount, you can remove it and then uh, to be followed by the soldering iron in an upward 
position. Okay? Then after that, cut the excess terminals using the diagonal side cutter. So, that's it. So, you just continue what you have started with the first two resistors. Okay? So, bend the resistors using using the long nose pliers okay okay again in doing the connections okay we we place the soldering iron on the terminals then we put a little amount of solder then remove it have the tip of the soldering iron on the terminals for maybe two seconds two to three seconds and then from time to time we clean we wipe the soldering iron tip with the wet sponge wet cloth and we coat it with a little amount of soldering iron uh, solder or lead okay so again we cut the terminals so we are halfway on our activity so we were able to mount and connect four resistors already so we just continue with the uh, other four resistors to be mounted on our PCB okay so as you can see, from time to time, I used to wipe my, my soldering iron tip on the wet sponge. That is to maintain the sharpness, okay, the efficiency and effectiveness of my uh, soldering iron in making connection. So right after, I was able to connect one or two resistors, I cut the excess terminals okay that is to give me more space in uh, doing the connections the other connections okay so here it is again you just have to repeat the procedures until you are able to make the connections for the eight resistors when you're done, inspect the connections. It must be smooth and shiny and volcano-like shape. Look at it. Okay, so that's it for now. Pax et bonum.